Welcome to the channel riders. Any full suspension mounted bike will have a rear shock which is either a air shock or a spring slash coil shock. They have their pros and cons and we'll go through those briefly. But for years after all this progression in mountain biking the technology, why do riders have to kind of compromise between the two? Surely there's some solution where you can get the best of both worlds. Well, the solution according to RockShox is the new Vivid Air. I'm here today to test this. Are they full of hot air? Should you spring into action and get the shock? Or should you ditch it and rebound onto another shock? Keep watching, let's go. Whoa, got it! Whoa. <laughs> got the gap! <laughs> Very quickly riders, the pros of the coil shock, you get that lovely off the top suppleness in the first part of the travel, lovely linear progression, and it's that maintenance free, long service intervals, if you get your spring right, fit and forget and keep riding, which is great. But therein is the con, if you want to radically change how it performs, you need to change the actual spring, which gets expensive and time consuming if you're trying to do that on the fly on the trail. The coil shock, everyone. Pros of the air shock, infinite adjustability on the fly, just change the air pressure and you'll find more bikes have an air shock because it is it's free to adjust, you don't need to change springs and all that sort of thing. So, um, and also you get a nice progressive ramp up towards the end of the travel. The cons of the air shock, more service intervals, um, so more maintenance to keep it performing how you wish, so kind of a bit less fit fit and forget like the core shock um, and also you generally speaking lose the off the top suppleness oh oh yeah that that is sweet this is all a little bit camber and it is cool yeah that's got a sweet sack, yo! <laughs> I know riders, that's enough talk. What's it like to actually ride? Well, I'm back from riding it now and I took it to a jump bit of track that I was hitting on my downhill bike with a coil shock. Just wanted to see how it kind of compares, obviously more travel, but I will say with the coil shock, you get a lovely kind of thud sound when you get a sort of landing right with the, with the coil shock or it might just be my downhill bike. Uh, this is the bit of track on the coil shock. Whoa. Yo. And now the same bit of track, hitting it on the Vivid Air. <laughs> Didn't get it. <laughs> Grease. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> hey, that was flat. <laughs> First observation. The Vivid Air is quiet, you cannot hear it at all. I've actually got the Lyric Forks as well, which are really quiet. So when you pair that with the sort of um, the Vivid and the Lyric, you've got pretty much silent suspension, which uh, yeah, it's just, um, you know, when you compare it to some other shocks, yeah, it's just worth noting it is completely silent pretty much. This is the Fox X2 rear shock, very plush in the top stroke, but if you have a listen, you can definitely hear it. And this riders is the Vivid Air for contrast. Also incredibly plush, but absolutely silent. I then went and took the Vivid Air and my bike to 
bit of track with some sort of twisty berms, I was interested with that really supple top stroke. I was noticing straight away this, well, maybe it's a placebo, but it definitely seemed to have more traction than my previous um, Fox Float X Air Shock. Um, so I wanted to see on the berms if you've got that more traction, you know, is it going to help you hug a bit more, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, and here's hitting some of that. Sick bit of track, sick bit of track. Oh. Way. <laughs> Hit track. <laughs> I guess the question, riders, is how good is the shock? Well, shockingly good, pun intended. Um, I need, I've only ridden it once and the conditions weren't exactly ideal. We're having a bit of an otter spring in the UK at the moment, but I mean, one ride, it felt instantly amazingly plush. The top, very supple, seemed to give a bit more traction. And yeah, I did seem to genuinely feel that. And it's got a lovely progressive pop. I wasn't bottoming it out on my first ride. So it means I, I think I felt I got the pressure right, but need to tweak it a bit more. Can't wait to ride it more. Seems like an amazing shock though. It does seem to solve some of the, the compromises and apparently it's got the 100 hour first interval service. So, you know, I'll see over time, but initial impressions, amazing shock. Really impressed with this. And if you've got any thoughts on the Vivid Air, if you're looking at new shocks and this helps, let me know. If you think uh, you can beat a good old coil, um, and again, I do love the coil as well. Um, but I think if you had one shock to maybe do it all, I think this has got to be up there now. There's some you know, really impressive performance and features and um, I'm looking forward to tuning it a bit more and seeing you know, how I can kind of, uh, how it's going to get on when I ride it further and get a bit more comfy with it. Thanks for watching as always. Yo. Yes, that's the whip. Yes.